go. Rise up, gamers, and welcome back to Talos of Today. What was that? Jeez. Rise up, gamers, and welcome back to Talos of Today. Tedek. Nice. <laughs> Rise up, gamers, and welcome back to Tales of Tech. Today, we've got Razer Phone 3 leaks from Venya Keskin himself. Now, as leaks go, you know, they're not always the most reputable, but hey, we gotta believe, right? Okay, so the Razer Phone 3, no front facing camera, because what gamers use front facing cameras? Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another brief episode of Talos of Unboxed, which is incorporated into the vlogs now. This is a product a company sent to me, and we've been talking a lot about battery cases over the past couple weeks with the Apple new smart battery cases, but this is a third party one. And like I said, they did send this to me, but as usual, they didn't pay me. They didn't ask me to say anything in specific about it. They just wanted me to simply try it. So this says it's a wireless charging case. It includes a tempered glass screen protector it has a USB-C charging cable and it looks like it doesn't add a big chin to the phone so by the looks of the packaging it appears that this case does not occupy the lightning port in your iPhone and charges your iPhone via Qi which is pretty cool so I get that it doesn't have all of the integrations of the typical Apple smart battery case where it works with the software and Apple kind of knows which thing to charge first and this one you have to like press a button to get the battery case to activate but I still thought it would be worth testing out just to see what it's like and I haven't owned any third-party battery cases in the past and given this one is probably much cheaper than the Apple smart battery case I think at least considering what the competition offers is, is worth a good look it also seems to have a lot more of a uniform back obviously it makes your phone case very thick but it doesn't look as pregnant as the Apple smart battery case does I do not give them an A plus for packaging because this is proving to be fairly difficult to get out of the box they put a little lid here but you can't pull it because they sealed the card board on the top. They've got these little tabs that you want to push off the bottom, but this tab prevents it from doing that. So you kind of have to destroy this thing to unbox it. After unboxing a lot of things, I know which ones uh, expect you to just kind of lift them out. This, you can't really lift out. You just kind of have to tear it open like a Christmas present. See if I can slide it out now, if possible. No? get it out like that okay so that's what the battery case looks like it's right in there slides out like this on the inside it has kind of a nice little padding place for your iphone 10r in this instance to use given i got the battery case for the 10s max but i don't have one for the 10r probably won't need one because the 10r has an excessively huge battery i use this thing and end the day with like 60 percent sometimes but yeah see at the bottom here there's a USB-C charge port if a lot of people out there want your iphone to charge via USB-C, but there's there's no lightning port anywhere on this. It's not like the smart battery case, which occupies the lightning port. It plugs into it and charges it that way. This has a USB-C port on it. So if you wanted one cable to take on vacation, you want to charge your MacBook, your iPad, and your phone all with one charge cable. This would allow you to do that. And then it charges the actual phone via Qi once you slide it in. So I guess if you guys are a fan of lightning headphones and you want to use wired that way, with this, you'd be able to use your lightning headphones and charge the iPhone simultaneously. It is definitely a bit bulky. You're not going to get that slick look that you're used to on iPhones with this, but it does feel durable. This plastic is probably going to age fairly well. Let's see what they say about it in the instructions that this company is called Encased. And oh yes, it comes with a cleaning wipe that can remove excess dirt, which is kind of nice. And it comes with a tempered glass screen protector, which is generous of them. They didn't have to do that, but a lot of people use screen protectors and it's nice for them to include one. I don't personally like using them, but okay, there's a USB symbol here. Here, so I assume that means if I open the box a little bit further. Oh yeah, look, they just barely tuck it in here. They just kind of threw it in there at the last second. This seems fairly heavy duty, but it is sadly not a USB-C to USB-C cable. It's just your typical, wow, this is a long cable. Holy crap. Dang, look at this. That's a long cable they include. Usually when I get stuff like this, the charge cable's like a foot, two feet long. This is a, this is a full on like four or five foot cable, I think. That's almost my entire arm span. But yeah, it is sadly USB-A to USB-C. I really wish that when companies ship a USB-C product, they could ship it with USB-C on both ends, but that's okay. I'm sure it's more affordable. So yeah, we've got the bottom of the case here, which is more flexible. And I think that will allow me to slide in the 10R much easier. So I'm going to do that right there and boom, it's popped. It's it's right in there. My 10R is protected and probably now has an insane amount of battery life that would take me days and days to use. So you have four indicator lights on the back to check the percentage of the case and a power button. I press the power button twice and boom, the 10R is now charging on the front. Yeah. And the instructions, it says that you can press 
press the power button once to get the indicator lights and that'll tell you what percentage it's at. Obviously two dots means 50%, three dots means 75, and then four dots would mean 100%. And you can charge this case, as I mentioned, via USB-C, which is nice because I have a ton of those cables lying around, charging the iPad, charging the MacBook. So now I guess if I have this accessory on a vacation or a trip of some sort, I don't have to worry about making sure that I pack a lightning cable with me because now if I need a charge for my iPhone and I'm not near a wall outlet, I can simply just use the USB-C charge cable I have for my MacBook and iPad, which will then via Qi charge the iPhone XR as it's in this case. So obviously it doesn't have the cool smart battery case integration that we're used to, and it may not look as aesthetically pleasing as a lot of us want with the Apple logo and the silicon, but I imagine it's much cheaper. Okay, I just looked it up on Amazon and it's out of stock right now, but the one I found for the iPhone XR is $50. 50 bucks for a battery case that gives you, what does it say? 36 hours of talk time, 18 hours of video playback, 65 hours of music playback. I imagine it's quite a big boost and it's probably fairly similar in battery performance to the smart battery case. So obviously not the most premium battery case out there, but hey, the smart battery case is $130. This is less than half of that and can give you a lot of the same things, plus the benefit of USB-C charging. So that I, I definitely appreciate. So right now it's not charging because I double click the power button on the back. You can see that the phone isn't charging, but if I double click it on the back like this, click, click, and it charges right up, just like that. But we're at 97%, so using the battery case right now is kind of unnecessary. And I think I can just drop it on the Pixel stand here, and is it charging? Wait, if I put it on the Pixel stand, it doesn't charge. That's kind of weird. Hold on, does it say wireless charging right on here? I thought it did, yeah. Wireless charging case. Maybe that's a little bit deceiving. I thought what they meant by that was it's a wireless charging case, like the case charges wirelessly. I think I'm putting it on the Pixel stand. Maybe it just doesn't like the Pixel stand. I have my witty charger here. Um, that's weird. That's kind of annoying. So the product was not as cool as I thought it was going to be because I think it just gives off a wireless charge. Obviously, it's not plugged into the lightning port, so it's charging the iPhone via wireless, but I don't think it can receive a charge via wireless, which honestly might affect my recommendation of it. I mean, obviously $50 versus $130, this thing is a battery case for a lot cheaper. I suppose there's a market for it. Maybe there's people out there who don't use wireless charging very much, but they want that extra battery for their 10R. Maybe for them, this is useful, but in my opinion, that's kind of annoying. Like I want the option to be able to charge the case via wireless because that's what I'm used to doing with my phone is putting it on things like the Pixel Stand or other wireless charger so it can charge up. If using this case means I don't get wireless charge, Charging. I don't know. Maybe some people would like this. Maybe some people don't care that it doesn't support Qi, but the real question is how hard is it to take out of the case? Because I could, for instance, use this as just a wireless charging pack on vacations and stuff, which is kind of my use for the smart battery case already. I don't really need a battery pack for my 10R because the battery life's so good as it is. But when we're on vacation and we're away from a charger for a while, packing this alongside in my suitcase would allow me to just say, hey, my phone is gonna die. Let's pop it into this battery case, let it charge up again. And and okay, that wasn't that bad. You just kind of have to push on the camera module a little bit on the opposite side. But yeah, it kind of slips in and out of this case fairly easily. So I guess I see battery cases less as cases. And to me, they're more just battery packs that are much easier to use because you don't have to pack a cable with it and it charges your phone wirelessly. So yeah, I'm definitely not gonna buy a whole nother smart battery case just for my 10R. I appreciate the Rebel Power Company sending me this, but yeah. It's all right. I, I just kind of wish they could have put a cheek coil on the back. That would have made this product really cool. Oh, well. Let me know what you guys think of uh, battery cases like this, or if you have third-party battery cases, you recommend down in the comments below. Hey, so yeah, today's my birthday. I usually try to keep this a secret, but this year it felt a little bit different. So in the past, I'd always try to keep my birthday kind of on the DL because anytime it was my birthday, I got a billion notifications. It was in the live streams and it was on Facebook and it was on Instagram, just a bunch of people saying, happy birthday, happy birthday and I would get sick of the notifications. So once that started happening and I was like, yeah, guys, birthdays aren't big deals. I was like, okay, I'm just going to keep this a secret. So for the most part, over the past few years, I haven't been advertising that it's my birthday because I wanted to avoid the notifications. But this year in particular, because I've told people that at some point in February, it's my birthday and I didn't say when, there's now just a bunch of people that were trying to constantly guess when my birthday was. They were like, is it today? Is it today? Is it today? And I would get DMs from people that are like, is it now? Is it now? Is it now? And I realized that if I keep keeping it a secret, I'm just
just gonna get more people who keep randomly wishing me happy birthday, and I even got this weird Twitter account called Famous Birthdays that wished me a happy birthday on a day that wasn't my actual birthday. So I was very confused by that and just was like, why, why are they tagging me? Where did they get this date from? Because that's not my birthday. Who told them that? Why did they believe it? So yeah, I thought I would just end all the unnecessary drama because now at least you guys can know, hey, it's Drew's birthday. That means you can stop asking about it for the rest of the month and that way everyone can just go back to normal because ultimately to this day, I still don't see birthdays really as that big a deal. In my opinion, it's like big whoop. You went around the sun. Who cares? You've survived another year and you can take it the morbid route and go, it's another year closer to death. But in reality, every second is another second closer to death. So who cares that you made the year mark? But yeah, for me, it's my 21st birthday. A lot of people are like, ooh, you're gonna go out and drink? You're gonna go out and party now that you can legally dry alcohol? Oh, not really. Uh, I have had in controlled situations when I'm like with the family and stuff like that, I've had very, very tiny sips of alcohol. I've smelled it and I don't like the taste or the flavor. Um, not interested in trying it, not interested in uh, becoming like a regular drinker or going to a bar or anything. Personally, it's just not something that interests me, but I also don't drink coffee. So before you freak out and be like, oh, Drew, you have to try this. Remember that I don't even drink the things most people normally drink. So I'm not a coffee drinker. I've tried coffee in the past. I still don't like it. And I'm probably not going to be an alcohol drinker. If anything, I just kind of want to drink soda sometimes, but that's not healthy for you. I know. So I don't drink soda that much, but... Yeah, I'm not gonna go out partying with alcohol. I'll probably just have a nice dinner with my wife and, and talk with my family a little bit and just kind of reminisce on the good times. But yeah, in conclusion, today's my 21st birthday. I get that everyone's gonna comment it and everyone's just gonna ping me with the same notification, with the same two words all day. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday. But at least today can stop because then tomorrow, hopefully y'all stop it. But thanks anyway, I don't have mean or ill intentions in my heart. I really do appreciate it. And I'm happy that you guys want to congratulate me and be very generous of you and already after doing this morning's gaming stream there's been a ton of people who've been very supportive and very friendly so just want you all to know that i love it and i appreciate you and here's to many more